Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're gonna try TGI Friday's 11 ounce whiskey glazed pulled pork with mac and cheese, which is seasoned and glazed to pulled pork with rotini pasta and cheese sauce and costs $5.94. Back in the 90s, TGI Friday's was the place to be on Friday nights for happy hour. You get dollar draft beers and free food. And I personally thought their food was pretty good for a chain restaurant. But it's been at least 20 years since I've stepped foot, or in my case, rolled a wheel into one of their restaurants. So I'm not sure if their food's still any good or not. What say you, the people? Let me know in the comments. But I have tried a couple of their frozen foods, which aren't too bad, but they're not great either. And before I even try the pulled pork and mac and cheese, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we, the consumers, are being catfished by the picture on the box. Because the picture on the box looks amazing, and there's not a chance that the finished product is going to look like the picture on the box. But that doesn't mean it's not going to taste good. And it actually happens to have pretty good positive reviews. Out of 81 reviews, it received 4.1 stars out of 5. The most positive review gave it 4 stars. And even though it's a positive review, reviews like this piss me off to the highest level of pistivity. They gave the product itself a less favorable review because Walmart messed up the order. And the most helpful negative review gave it one star and said it was disgusting. Here's the list of ingredients and the pork looks like real pork, no TVP. And believe it or not, even though it's a small amount, there really is whiskey in the whiskey glazed pulled pork. The serving size is the whole container, which has three calories, 28 grams of total fat, 12 grams of saturated fat, 630 calories of trans fat, 12 grams of cholesterol, no sodium, 67 grams of carbohydrates, 95 milligrams of fiber, 34 grams of sugars, and 34 grams of protein. Now with numbers that bad, I should go directly to the TGI Friday's website and give it a horrible review and then complain directly to Congress. But I wouldn't do that because I'm not a butthead and I'm intelligent enough to realize this is an error on Walmart's part. And I must admit, it's actually a pretty funny one. The correct nutritional facts for the whole container are 630 calories, 28 grams of total fat, 12 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 95 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,290 milligrams of sodium, 67 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, 34 grams of sugars, and 28 grams of protein. The only heating instructions are for the microwave. Here's our TGI Friday's whiskey glazed pulled pork and mac and cheese right out of the freezer and right out of the box. And then we vent the film and it goes into the microwave for four and a half minutes and then rests for two minutes. After microwaving on high for a total of four and a half minutes and resting for two minutes, our whiskey glazed pulled pork and mac and cheese is ready. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, the finished product looks absolutely nothing like the picture on the box. However, it smells really good. So we gave it all a good mix and you can see the barbecue sauce on the bottom. And as we mixed it, it just started looking even worse. Kind of like a present your dog leaves you on the floor the night before. But you, the people, know me, the person, will try anything for you, the people. I am your processed food tasting hero. So once the famous Forkasu snapped in half while we were mixing up the whiskey glazed pulled pork and mac and cheese, we switched over to a peasant sized made in China stainless steel spoon. And the spoonful of the whiskey glazed pulled pork and mac and cheese went into my old pie hole and down the gullet. And I happened to be pleasantly surprised with my mouthful of the pulled pork mac and cheese. And then it was time for Lisa to try a bite for you, the people. Before you put it back in there, try it? No. Why? I just don't. It looks like shit. It looks like legit poop. You do, but. And it was at that point when a tear crept out of my eye that I realized I am truly dedicated to you, the people. 
that just because, as Lisa so eloquently put it, something looks like shit, looks like poop, or doo-doo butt, I'll still try it so that you, the people, don't have to. Because the TGI Friday's whiskey glazed pulled pork mac and cheese dinner was truly the ugly red-headed stepchild of frozen food. She looked nasty, she was very cheesy, but she smelled good, she was sweet and savory, and was overall very delicious. All worthy of another $5.94 date, which is why I'm giving TGI Friday's whiskey glazed pulled pork mac and cheese an 8 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.